Watching the research that I do in the lab translate into clinical trials, then translate into long-term survival for many childhood cancer patients, tells me every day I made the right choice in becoming a pediatric oncologist at the Kimmel Cancer Center here at Johns Hopkins. I'm Heather Simons. Do you know the most common form of childhood blood cancer is leukemia? This is a cancer that starts in the bone marrow where new blood cells are made. In many instances, we need to treat our young cancer patients with a bone marrow transplant. This can actually cure the disease. All set. If that sounds easy enough, it isn't, because we often have trouble finding an exact bone marrow match, even when we test close relatives like siblings or look for an unrelated match donor. An exact match is often not found. But here at Hopkins, our team has discovered a new way to deliver bone marrow transplants. Do you feel dry inside your mouth? Like your tongue is dry or? Yes. <laughs> yeah? A little at the moment. Okay. Now, many more childhood leukemia patients are able to receive this curative treatment. We use half match donors rather than a full match and still give patients the effective treatment they need. We call this a haploidentical transplant and it has revolutionized bone marrow transplantation. It has been a particular challenge to find a fully matched donor in the national and international registries for patients of African American descent and other minorities, putting these patients at an increased risk of not being able to get a bone marrow transplant. Finding a half match is much easier since most children have a half match parent or sibling. Half match donors make it possible to treat many more patients with childhood blood cancers. This therapy is saving lives. I mean, it's winter. Yeah. Skin's just dry. Did you have this before transplant? What? A little bit, but not to the same Not as extent. much. Yeah. And it doesn't stop there. Half match bone marrow transplants are being used in earlier stages of leukemia and other blood cancers, and we're exploring its use for children with solid tumor cancers and non malignant blood disorders like sickle cell disease. I'm Heather Simons, a childhood cancer oncologist at the Kimmel Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins.